Hi, I'm Trish from Honey Pies Recipes, and today we're going to make a simple salad with a French vinaigrette. A simple salad is a salad that is composed of one vegetable only. So we're going to use just some green leaf lettuce and a very classic French vinaigrette. But you could also do a cucumber salad, you could do a beet salad, you could do a shredded carrot salad. There's lots of different things that you can do that would be wonderful with this vinaigrette as a little side dish, something that has a little tang to it. And the classic French vinaigrette is really just olive oil, red wine vinegar, a little bit of shallot, some minced herbs, salt and pepper. It is not orange or creamy. It's not what we Americans think of as French dressing at all. So let's get started. Let's put some glasses on. Look at there, I can see. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, make sure you check back to lesson one where we teach you how to mince uh, shallots. So that's what we're gonna do right now is mince some shallots. I like to use a mason jar to make my salad dressings in. It gives me a chance to get all the ingredients in, put a cover on, and then I can shake it up so that I get a nice emulsion. To this we're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. This is sort of a rule of thumb ratio. Just a classic vinaigrette, three parts oil to one part acid. So the acid could be red wine vinegar, it could be balsamic vinegar, it could be lemon juice, uh, it could be a different kind, like white wine vinegar, anything like that. But three to one will give you sort of a, a generally nicely balanced salad dressing. If you want something a little tangier, try four parts oil to two parts vinegar or acid, and that will zip it up a little bit for you. That's just sort of a general rule of thumb when making a, a vinaigrette. So we've got our shallot, we've got our oil, we've got our vinegar, and now we're gonna put in just a good half a teaspoon Dijon mustard. And then I have these lovely herbs here. So we're just gonna take just a little bit of chives, just a little bit of tarragon, because tarragon is very powerful, very potent, and some parsley. We're gonna mince these up. Mmm, fragrance, that anise of the tarragon. Mmm, that's so good. So there, we've got a couple of tablespoons of some nicely minced herbs. I'm gonna put in eh, a little half a teaspoon of salt and some pepper. Pepper to your taste. I happen to like pepper a lot, so I put in quite a bit. I'm just going to let those kind of sit and marinate while we just put together a very, very simple salad of green leaf lettuce. You saw in an earlier video how we talked about all the different types of lettuces and how to wash and store them. So this is our green leaf lettuce that has been cleaned and been in the refrigerator with the damp paper towel. And I'm just going to take and shred it. Sort of try for more bite-sized pieces. I'm not a big fan of the ribs. I find them a little bitter, so I generally leave them out. My mother loves them. So when I'm at her house, we keep them. A vinaigrette of this proportion, it's a good quarter of a cup, is generally just fine for up to four cups of lettuce or other ingredients. If you were going to make a really large salad, I would double the ingredients. The other thing that's really important for this is a food safety tip. Something that's very important for you to remember is that whenever you're dealing with shallots, or garlic or onions, and you're mincing those and putting them in a vinaigrette, you have to remember that these um, aromatics come from the dirt. They grow underground. And that there's bacteria, and we're not cooking anything here. And those bacteria are what you call anaerobic. That means that they don't require oxygen in order to survive. So we have a very thick preparation here with the oil and everything. And there is no oxygen in there. So if you are going to make this earlier in the day, please be sure to put it in the refrigerator 
because that's what keeps the bacteria from growing. If you leave it at room temperature, then the bacteria, they thrive and it can become an unsafe product. So whenever you're using any kind of raw vegetables like that, please put it in the refrigerator and don't make tons of it assuming that you can use it for a couple of weeks. You really should use up a homemade vinaigrette like this in two to three days. So here's our simple green salad. The dressing, haven't given you the little food safety tip though. I would tell you that you should at least let this sit for 30 minutes um, just to let those flavors gel. And at room temperature, that's fine. Anything more than that, then I would put it in the refrigerator and then maybe take it out 30 minutes before you're going to use it just to let those ingredients warm up a little bit. So we're gonna give this a good shake. We're gonna get a nice emulsion in here because we've got mustard. Mustard hangs on to both the water and the oil so that it creates an emulsion. Um, vinegar and oil don't like each other. They repel each other. That's why your salad dressings fall apart so quickly. But if you put something in that's an emulsifier, that holds on to both of them and keeps a nice thick sauce for a while. So we're gonna use about half of this because this is a smallish salad. Yes, Lacey, I hear you. You don't want to overdress the salad. We just give this a nice little toss. You can see that all of the leaves have a little glistening to them, a little gloss. That could use a pinch of salt. Just a pinch, and maybe a little more pepper. Should have seasoned the lettuce too. You should always season the individual parts. All right, so nice and glossy there and you can see the little bits of shallot there but I want you to also look at the bottom of the bowl and see that there's no pooling so this is properly dressed all of the lettuce leaves have a little bit of the dressing on it but there isn't a lot of soupiness at the bottom and that's it that's a perfect simple salad good as a palate cleanser between courses or a way to start the meal delicious enjoy Thanks for watching Honey Pie's Recipes and letting me bring my kitchen to yours. Mm -hmm.